Will the commando make a comeback after being reworked? While I can't provide a definite confirmation, let's dive into this intriguing topic. If you caught my previous video, you'd know there's an ongoing poll or question about which event tower should be reworked or buffed first. As of this recording, the commando tower is leading the vote count. This suggests that it might become the most desired tower for improvement. However, let's consider a scenario where the commando tower does undergo a rework. Naturally, only a handful of players will have the chance to experience the enhanced commando tower, since not everyone, including myself, possesses this tower. If you're unaware, the commando tower was the second event tower introduced in the game. The first event tower is the gladiator. Consequently, it's much rarer due to the lack of a dedicated game pass like the one for gladiator. Speaking of the gladiator tower, despite being the initial event tower, it has made appearances in the in-game store via a game pass, most recently during Independence Day. Now, circling back to the commando, there's a strong likelihood that a game pass will be introduced for it, but only if it goes through a rework. Wondering why? The answer is quite simple. The TDS team invests substantial effort into revamping towers, a task that isn't without challenges. To acknowledge their hard work, introducing a game pass for the revitalized commando tower seems like a fair compensation. Considering this, if the TDS team takes a wise approach, they would recognize that creating a commando game pass would likely attract many buyers. Hence, this is solely my perspective on what might occur if TDS opts for a commando rework. Remember, the game's dynamics are subject to change, but speculating about potential outcomes can be quite intriguing. Music